going on, everybody? I go by the name of Curry, and I want to thank you guys for joining me here today on Sneaker Fetish. Now today, we have an amazing sneaker to take a look at that takes a timeless colorway with an iconic comic book character that's got a new movie on the way out. So without further ado, let's get into it. This version that I was able to get today actually just comes in the regular Nike box. Now, there was a previous version during the Spider-Man premieres that happened, I believe, in California, where they actually came in a limited edition box that had Spider-Man all over it, and it said Enter the Spider-Verse was on the way in theaters and things of that nature, but unfortunately, this is one of the release pairs that just came with the regular Jordan 1 box. Boom. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen. This is the Air Jordan 1 origin story. Really cool story behind this shoe and the way that this shoe was created. Now, as you all may or may not know, Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, which is the newest movie in the franchise, is now in theaters. And to celebrate the movie, Jordan Brand came out with this special edition Chicago 1 inspired colorway, I'll say, that actually is the same sneaker that Miles Morales, the main character who plays Spider-Man in this movie, is wearing. Now, for those of you guys who don't know, Miles Morales is actually a teenager that's based in Brooklyn. He gets bitten by that radioactive spider and just like Peter Parker gains the powers of Spider-Man. He's able to climb walls, he's able to shoot webs, things of that nature. He's doing all this in a pair of his favorite sneakers which happen to be the Air Jordan 1 Chicago colorway. And in this special version, Jordan Brand took that silhouette and added a few special touches to it that we'll talk about. This may actually be the closest we may get to an OG Chicago 1 colorway in quite some time so we better enjoy it while we got it. Now starting with the upper of the shoe again, you have what seems like that OG Chicago 1 colorway with the white, red, and black color blocking. Classic Black Air Jordan Wings logo on the lateral side of the shoe. Really, really nice leather here in the quarter panels and on the toe box of the shoe as well. Very quality stuff here. Now the swoosh on here is very interesting. As you see, the inner part of the swoosh is this really soft, kind of like a new buck material. I'm not sure what it is, but it feels almost like rubber. I'm not quite sure what it is. And then the swoosh is actually outlined in this black patent leather. It's a nice little contrast of materials that you see here. On the tongue of the shoe, you get that classic classic Air Jordan 1 OG tag, but this time it's in those classic Spider-Man red and blue colors. Same thing for the insole of the shoe as well. You have that classic red Nike Air OG logo against that nice blue background, all falling in with the Spider-Man motif. Now the standard laces that come with this shoe are black with red tips, but you also get this extra pair of laces that are red with blue tips on them. And I'll be honest with you guys, these are way more fire than the black. I'll probably be swapping out my black laces with the red ones here. The sneaker also comes with a translucent an icy blue outsole with that classic Nike emblem right there in the middle of the foot, which is all well and good, but let's really talk about what the main draw for the sneaker is, and that's these little dots here that are all over the sneaker. What are they? What do they mean? I've seen a lot of people on YouTube that have talked about, oh, there's these little dots here, and that's what it is, and they really don't know what it is. They just know, oh, they're 3M dots or what have you. Let me actually explain what these dots are and then we'll take a look at the effect of the 3M. These dots are actually to mimic an effect that's very popular in animation and in comic books which is called Kirby dots or the Kirby crackle or some people call them Bende dots. But for the sake of the video today, we'll call them Kirby dots. Now Kirby dots were named after a gentleman whose last name actually was Kirby who was an animator way, way back in the day. And the dots were actually used to convey energy, be it explosions or something big that was happening around one of the characters in a comic book. So before you had big explosions and flames and things of that nature, they would use these little dots that were all right next to each other that would form a sequence that made it look like it was an explosion or some sort of energy that was radiating around a character in some kind of a way. So in my opinion, I believe that they added the Kirby dots not only to give it a nod to the whole comic book theme that surrounds the entire shoe, but it's also to illustrate the powers that Miles Morales gains once he gets bitten by the spider and he actually becomes Spider-Man. Remember, these are the sneakers that he's using to swing all around the city to stick to walls and things of that nature so the sneaker actually takes on that new energy that in comic book days would have Kirby dots all around it. So these in effect are the Kirby dots or the energy that surrounds the sneaker that transforms the sneaker into a superheroes type of shoe. Now with that out of the way let's take a look at the 3M. And there it is. Now, as you guys can see, the 3M completely surrounds the sneaker and it gives you this really, really nice wave kind of effect here that again represents those Kirby dots on the shoe. Now, to me, this is the most amazing part of the sneaker. And to a lot of sneaker heads, this is the worst part of the sneaker because a lot of people wanted a Chicago 1 or the closest thing they can get to the Chicago 1. But in my opinion, it actually takes away from the fun of the movie, which is about the comic book and the superhero 
hero and everything that's included with that. So, I mean, if I were Jordan Brand, I would do it exactly the way that they did it right here. I don't know who thought to put Kirby Dots and 3M all around the sneaker, but to me, it just sets it off so nicely for the shoe here. And that's pretty much it, guys. Tell me what you guys think about the Air Jordan 1 origin story. Is this one that you guys were looking to add to your collection? Or is this one that you went ahead and passed on? Or is this one that you took the L on? Because unfortunately, a lot of people ended up taking the L on this sneaker. I was fortunate enough to get one through the app reservation at my local Foot Locker here. They're released in one store in the entire city here in Alabama. So hopefully you guys were able to get your hands on a pair as well. They sold out really, really quickly. If you are not subscribed yet, not quite sure what you're waiting for because I keep telling you guys I got more heat coming on the way, go ahead and click that subscribe button right down there after you get finished commenting and telling me what you guys think about this shoe. As always, I want to thank you guys for joining me here today on Sneaker Fetish, taking a look at these unboxing away before a couple of minutes. I go by the name of Kari. This is the Air Jordan 1 origin story for Spider-Man Enter the Spider-Verse, which is in theaters now. And until next time, I'm out.